Today's veteran that is gone but not forgotten is 1st Sergeant Gerald Saker Service No. 1712357 United States Army Air Corps. He was born on January 29, 1923. He was the son of Mr. and Mrs. Jess Saker. He entered the service on October 23, 1942. At the age of 19, he received six months of training at Scott Field, Illinois, then served as an instructor there for two years. He then had two months training at Hamilton Field for radio and gunner school. He went overseas as radio man on a plane. He served in New Guinea and Darwin, Australia. He was killed at Darwin, Australia on January 17, 1945. While coming back after a test flight at the age of 21, he had almost finished all the required missions and would have been entitled to return to the States in a short time. He was buried with full military honors at Darwin, Australia, on January 17, 1945. The 24J15CO Liberator, number 42 to 73,134 named Milady, of the 531st Bombardment Squadron of the 380th Bombardment Group crashed after take off on the Cox Peninsula west of Darwin in the Northern Territory, all of the crew were killed in this tragic accident, some remains of the wreckage of Milady can still be seen on Cox Peninsula today, the other men on the plane when it crashed were 2nd Lieutenant Bobby T. Neal, 2nd Lieutenant Walter E. Scanlon, Jr., 2nd Lieutenant William G. Ward, Jr., 2nd Lieutenant Richard W. Walsh, and Sergeant Francisco Caballero. Be sure to visit WorldWar2Veterans.com to read the profiles of tens of thousands of other American World War II veterans.